Hi, welcome. So um, we're going to start a new project today. Um, this one shouldn't take long. It's a 1 in 72 Airfix de Havilland Vampire um, T11. It was only 2 in home bargains. Um, but this is quite a simple kit. Not too much to do. I've already um, done the paints, researched them, got everything. But there's only three small sprues in there. Canopy, three little sprues, and we've got the old um, transfers in there as well. Very simple instructions. Um, the paint scheme I'm going to do um, is going to be this one here. This is the um, yeah. This is the um, Preservation, the Vampire Preservation Group um, scheme. Um, this very simple scheme. Um, it's a metallic um, kind of steel, aluminium coloured. Um, it shouldn't take long, to be fair. But I'm going to do a lot of my techniques that I've been recently learning uh, on it as well, and uh, we'll see how we get on. So. What we'll do, we'll do what we normally do. We'll show you some some of the steps that I do, and uh, we'll you know break in between and have a little chat about what I've been up to. So let's get on with it then. So current work in progress then, um, the inside has all been uh, done and painted, the cockpit's finished, um, there's a bit of detail within the cockpit, you can't really pick it up on this camera, um, the lighting's not too great to be honest, let me see if I can pick some of that up, yeah you can see a bit of the detail in there, there's not too much, there wasn't many um, much to paint within there. Um, but um, it's all in, transfers are on, um, and I've given it a nice um, gloss coat there as well, just to protect the paintwork now. Because, um, of course, once the canopy's on, I'm not going to be able to get in there again. I've also done a little test fitting of the canopy, and uh, you know, it, it, seem, it, it seems to uh, go together nicely. There's, there's hardly any gaps at all, so that's good news. One thing um, I did notice with this um, is the instructions call for 7 grams of nose weight. Now fitting 7 grams in this area I found a bit of a challenge. I've not been able to get 7 grams in there. Maybe about 4 grams 
and what I've had to use because I've got no fishing weights small enough or anything like that I've had to use little screws, tiny screws just to fill up there um, it seems weighty, you know it feels weighty the balance but we'll see how it goes on I just uh, just hope it doesn't tail sit but uh, yeah I'm going to have to think about that so if any of you got any suggestions what I can use uh, for nose weight something better please let me know uh, I'll be really grateful for that but um, yeah the flu fuselage has gone together okay um, yes you can see a black line there but that's because of the you know of the, um, the, the the paint that sprayed through when I was uh, doing the inside um, there is a little bit of a gap it's not too bad it, um, the only thing is I had to get this lower panel on as well uh, I need to paint inside of there. I did trim a little bit as well to fit it because the, the screw heads kind of stuck out a little bit. So I had to trim this down just to fit it on. It has fit flush. It's not raised, um, which is good. Um, but there's obvious gaps there which I'm going to need to fill in. So, you know, um, intakes are done. Engine's in. So, next stages really is I, I'll, do the, I'll, I'll do the fuselage. I'll tidy all this up now. Before I put anything, before I put the wings on, and we'll do the filling and sand it and stuff like that, one step at a time. I just find it a little bit more manageable rather than doing it in one go. So once that's done, um, we'll get the rest of the body on then, because uh, it's just wings uh, and and the tail. Um, we'll take a look then where I need to paint in um, in the uh, you know in the re wheel recesses, and I need to paint in there a little bit. Um, and then we'll yeah crack on. Um, I'll need to paint the, the actual lines here um, inside the canopy, just where the glass would sit. That needs to be painted as well. Um, and then we're all right. Then I just need to get this masked up before I do anything else. So yeah, we'll uh, see what we're like in the next few steps. But basically, this is page one done on the uh, instructions. <laughs> So we've sanded and filled, well filled and sanded I should say, um, all the little um, seams and gaps, all the model, uh, the bodies all together, it's gone together quite nicely, canopies on, we're, we're ready for painting now. Um, what I've done, little tip for you down here, I'm actually going to be putting an undercarriage on here and I've painted the insides of the, <coughs> the, you know, the, the wheel gears and stuff. Um, and the kit came with the option of no undercarriage, so I've used those parts to mask it up. Um, it's easy, and I've just tacked them on with um, liquid latex. 
uh, the mask will um, it'll just come straight off that will when, when I need to take it off but yeah uh, we'll clean this up now and we'll start the painting process and the model then pretty much is nearly done I've also been painting um, started to paint the, the, the undercarriage pieces as well and uh, once this is done we'll stick them on and crack on but um, I don't see this being taking much longer at all um, so yeah give it a few more days and it'll be done totally finished so we'll uh, we'll start off pr cleaning up and um, priming it down
So there we have it. Um, we've finished the De Havilland Vampire. Um, it was a simple build, not without its problems. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with it. I don't know why. I think it's the uh, pods at the bottom. Um, I thought I'd put them on as an optional extra and I think it would have looked better with them off to be fair. Um, some of the problems on the way um, with the undercarriage, I needed to have built the struts for the carriage into the model before priming it and everything but I didn't, I thought I'd put them on at the end and I found it a little bit difficult to get in and yeah they they this the straight the way they need to be but um it took a while to set them in there um, I had to trim a little bit off as well but it's okay 299 from home bargains um nice little build it's all right it's come out okay but uh, I'm still a bit unsure what do you reckon what do you think let me know. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that um, little video. I'm going to leave you with some shots of this um, and then I'm going to start a new project.